The Notebooks and Drawings of Louis Icahn is the only book ever published that captures master architect Louis Kahn's powerful spirit using his own words and images. Originally issued in 1962, this elegant oversized volume features a collection of Kahn's drawings alongside select published writings and text from his unpublished speeches, which Kahn reworked from the spoken to the written word. Kahn was a modernist who was known for his sophisticated use of brick and concrete to explore light and monumentality, and he has been honored worldwide for his precedent-setting work. Some of his notable designs include the Yale Center for British Art, the Kimball Art Museum, the Phillips Exeter Academy Library, the Salk Institute for Biological Studies, the Yale University Art Gallery, Four Freedom State Park in New York City, and the National Assembly Building of Bangladesh. The Notebooks and Drawings of Louis Icahn was proposed by Kahn's student, friend, and colleague, Richard Saul Werman, who later went on to create the TED Conference. Led by innate curiosity and a personal desire to create a book of Kahn rather than about him, Werman asked that he be allowed to select which materials would be included without Kahn's involvement, and surprisingly, Kahn agreed. Werman says that the book shows a tango between Kahn's words and his drawings, a conversation between crossed out and penciled in words, and charcoal drawings that are drawn, smudged out, and redrawn that shows the journey to his discovered truths. It came to be what Kahn personally acknowledged as his favorite book about his work and ideas. The facsimile to be published now is an exact copy of the second edition of the book published in 1973 and will be accompanied by an all new reader's guide. Just like the original, the facsimile is 96 pages long and features 76 drawings, four foldouts, and a detail of the trees from Kahn's sketch of the sculpture court at the Yale University Art Gallery stamped in gold on the linen cover. The reader's guide is designed to complement the facsimile with its matte black cover stamped in silver and will contain an extensive amount of previously unpublished material from the Lewis Icahn collection at the Architectural Archives of the University of Pennsylvania. It will also feature essays by Richard Saul Werman and Kahn's three children, along with reflections from notable writers, Kahn's friends and contemporaries, and tributes from succeeding architects who were influenced by Kahn. In an editorial after his death, the Philadelphia Inquirer said that the world is a perceptively lovelier place because of the labors of Kahn's life. By reissuing this treasured book as a facsimile edition accompanied by a reader's guide, Khan's genius will be introduced to a new generation.